time to talk about in Nigerian football. Our federation elections, the polls are just around the corner. It's going to be on Thursday uh, in Katsina. And the story coming out of um, the FIFA and CAF is they've named uh, their observers uh, to that particular uh, polls. Uh, for FIFA, it's going to be uh, Luca Piazza and Solomon uh, Mudege uh, as his observers uh, to the election. Uh, while for CAF, uh, it's going to be uh, Sita Sangare, uh, who is the Burkina Faso Football Federation uh, president. Uh, it's going to be observing that particular uh, election on behalf of the Confederation of African uh, Football. The city of Katsina seems everything is ready. It is by all accounts, uh, looking from the outside, it looks like this election uh, will uh, go ahead. And uh, in case you are not aware, uh, the, the presidential election, the goals that will be contesting the presidency are uh, incumbent uh, Amaju Pinik, uh, former Nigerian international, a one-time NFF uh, sec gen, uh, Taiwo Ogunjobi, former NFL president, the media past one, Amino Maigiri, uh, is also, uh, uh, has been cleared uh, to contest uh, the presidency of the NFF. Uh, last but not the least is uh, Chinedu uh, Okoye, uh, not very well known, but he's, he's been in the game as well too, and, you know, um, he's a, he manages a, a football club, uh, BMO. Uh, you know, Amdi, what do you have to say about <laughs> all this? Fights. Um, Street fights, Megari. Is it a fight? fight. Is it even going to be a fight at all? Well, it's going to be a contest. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the thing. With all common sense and with all indices, if we are to obey every natural law, it shouldn't be. But this is Nigeria and we've seen stranger things happen. And we know that the 44 delegates will vote based on how they feel, sometimes suspected inducements and other things. So it, it all goes down to who is controlling the environment in Katsina. That determines who wins the election. Rationally, Pinnick should win. Um, the NFF has been very stable. The teams, except my little issue with how female football has been treated, mm. has been handled well. There have been no financial issues. Money has been raised for tournaments. We've not had stranded teams anywhere and things like that. But this is Nigeria. Anything can happen. You know, we have not covered all bases. Um, everybody who is contending has their own ace up their sleeve and has their own delegates. And it will all go down to the last minute. Mm. And don't forget, there will still be horse trading. There are people who want other positions and are willing to throw support behind somebody if it guarantees them <laughs> victory in their own. So yeah. all, all these things, you know, it's only after the election was that here. And I'm just waiting, right. you know, for the potential court cases. And I'm looking at it in the first vice, first vice presidency already. Mm. Because except I'm wrong, Dele Ajayi is supposed to be serving a ban which was upheld at the Benin Con Extraordinary Congress from the Ondo State FA. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering, he's contesting for, he's contesting against Sheya Kiwomi, and already should he be on the ballot? That's <laughs> a big question. It's the same Kogi United situation. Until mm -hmm. I get clarification, <laughs> I will not say <laughs> anymore. Okay. Wow. Uh, so we'll wait. Uh, we'll wait. And see. We'll wait. Uh, a lot of people are even wondering will the elections uh, take place? We'll That's see. another question. Yeah. Again, with all of some, some issues hanging. But we'll see. We're here to report whatever happens. That's our job, so we'll keep doing it. Let's take a look at the papers as we go. Uh, let's start with Tyler, Sporting Life. Right, Sporting Life, that's where we start uh, with the papers. And uh, Libya versus Nigeria, October 14. Libya backpedals, uh, picks Tunisia uh, for Eagles. I mean, this match was supposed to be played uh, in Algeria before. That was a report that looks like um, uh, there's a change of heart uh, from the Libya uh, Football Federation. Uh, no venue named yet, though, uh, for that 2019 uh, AFCON qualifier. Um, stage is set for uh, Lukaku Young Boys versus Manchester United. Bill uh, Anger helped uh, Real Madrid win uh, UEFA Champions League for the third time uh, in a row. Old lady will suffer. That's according to uh, our bill. That's Valencia uh, taking on uh, Juventus. That's also uh, in the UEFA Champions League. Uh, also uh, on the front page, you still have um, yeah, updates on NFF elections. Uh, FIFA CAF name observers, and we talked about that one uh, already. And Griezmann, very bold uh, proclamation in the essays. I am on the same level uh, with, okay, Ronaldo and Messi. You are good, eh? <laughs> well, actually, yes, he's performed almost at that level. Mm. But um, and, Ronaldo and Messi is a track record of performances. Oh, come on, exactly. So come you on. can say you're performing almost at that level and you're attaining some sort of consistency at that level. Right. But to say you are on, at, on that level, uh, on that level, your career has to show it. And... 
in all fairness, Griezmann is a great player, but he's not on that level. Okay, all right. that's fair. <laughs> all right, we also have complete sports and some, uh, sporting some, but we won't be able to take a quote. We're pressed, we're pressed for uh, time. And um, okay, let's, let's see if we can quickly uh, do this, some of the other stories that we've seen. Uh, sports Arsenal interested in Bailey that catches my attention. Uh, front page complete sports. Uh, you think there's, there could be any truth to that? Eric Bailey uh, mm. leaving. Uh, United still, 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 still. Agents do these stories. Once a player is not getting playing time, <laughs> agents do these stories. Yeah, they start flying around. So no, subs no substance. No substance. Nah, yeah, nah. no, nothing. Yet. Try to upset to the player. Try to intimidate the clubs. Create interest for him. Mm -hmm. And as well as my seat, I say, oh, he's available. Uh, and make a bid. Yeah. A high copy price. Okay, Namdi, I want to thank you for your time on the show today. We enjoyed the nice presence. Here. We'll do this again some other time. Yes, of course. Thank you. All right. Thank you as well for allowing us to uh, be a part of your day. We'll do this again tomorrow. I'm Yemi Adebayo. Bye-bye now. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm Taya Salah.